Hey guys, this is Wookie War 23 XL, and today I'm going to show you my Series 11 Lego minifigures. Now these Lego minifigures come in green packages, indicate Series 11 at the top, and it's got some pictures of the figures on the front, and of course the back of the package. Um, each package comes with a sheet that shows the minifigures, 1 through 16, and on the back it indicates the accessories that each minifigure, some of the accessories they come with. Now, I have the minifigures displayed in a Lego collectible minifigure case. I got this at Toys R Us yesterday. You can get these cases this week at Toys R Us through Saturday, November the 2nd. Um, if you purchase, actually November, yeah, November the 2nd. If you purchase $60 or more worth of Lego products, you get it free. Um, the retail value is $19.99 on these sets, but they don't sell them individually. So as you can see, I've placed all the minifigures in the case. I'm going to open a case up here. Okay, and the first figure is the Barbarian figure. He comes with two swords. He also has a, some nice designs on his torso and his legs. He's got a black headpiece. Then we have the Scarecrow. He comes with his hat, a crow on top of the hat, and also a pitchfork. And then we move on to the Pretzel Girl. She has a pretzel on her hand, also has an apron around her waist. Um, comes with a yellow headpiece. Yellow hair on her uh, headpiece, I should say. Then we have the Evil Mech figure, which is the space alien type figure. Comes with his armor and his helmet and, his, and a gun. And then next we have the Island Warrior. He comes with a mask and a spear. My daughters like this figure. I actually got a few extras because of the Skull, Skull, Skull Shores movie for Monster High with the Tiki Warriors. Um, they plan on doing a stop motion video later on using some of these figures. Okay, in the next row we have the first one we have is a Gingerbread Man. This figure is unique to this series. Um, it has not been one produced before. He also comes with a little mug. Then after that we have the Holiday Elf. He comes with a little bear and a Holiday Gift Box. We move on to the Yeti. First time they've ever created one of these figures, it comes with a little popsicle. I like his design also. After that we have the Mountain Climber. He comes with his axe and his rope. And then finally on this row we have the Welder who comes with his welding equipment and his helmet. I like this figure. Very cool looking. In the last row of figures we have, we start with the Lady Scientist. She comes with two flasks, one in each hand. After that we have the saxophone player. He has his black hat, his saxophone in one of his hands. And then we move on to the diner waitress. She has her roller skates and an ice cream sundae. Um, I kind of wish they had a peg on her tray so you could put the ice cream sundae on there and it would stay, but obviously it doesn't. And then we have the grandma figure. It comes with her little basket and her cat. And the last two figures I actually had to put them in one space because there's only room for 15 figures. You have the constable and the lady robot. The constable comes with his black hat in a stick. And the Lady robot, robot actually has a little wind mechanism in the back. Okay guys, just to let you know, you can find out what figures are in each package. There are dot codes at the bottom. If you go online and Google Lego Minifigure Series 11, they kind of give you an idea of what figures are in each package. I prefer the fill method. You can actually fill what's in the package by the, uh, filling for the accessories. This is actually an Island Warrior here. And also, the first two series that were ever released in the Minifigure Series 1 and Series 2 there was actually a different method to find out what was in each package and it was a barcode on the back of the package if you see right here and right here so different barcodes between the, for each package you could tell what actual figure was in each one after series two they went straight to the dot codes at the bottom of the package so they're a little bit harder to find out you have to feel for them and this is a series 11 lego collectible minifigures i do have all the series from series one through series eleven in the coming weeks, I will be posting videos from Series 10, Series 9, all the way back to Series 1. So please let me know if you like these figures. Do you collect them? Which were your favorite figures? And leave that in the comments section. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.